It looks like an ordinary day outside, right? Some fluffy white clouds. Yeah, looks nice. It feels like it's seven degrees outside. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I just want to stay inside with my kitty cat. Hey, Fluffer Nutter. Kitty cat. Good morning. All right, out into the frozen tundra we go. Wish me luck. Hello? I just got home. It's much warmer than it was this morning, partly because the wind died down, but it, uh, it was only 27 when I came home, so I didn't have to wear any gloves. I had a really cute experience in the lobby. Let me come over here and sit down. Almost all apartment buildings in New York City put up a Christmas tree and there's usually a menorah. Now tonight's the second night of Hanukkah, and all of a sudden, for some reason on the walk home, I'm like, huh, you know, was the menorah lit? In the past, hello, say hi to everyone. Did you eat? He had a little bit of food. In the past, in this particular building, no one really paid attention to it. And even though I'm not Jewish, I volunteered to turn the candles on at night when I, well, you know, the light bulbs. My arm's tired. Let's go this way. What you doing, buddy? Come on. Are you waiting for your food to warm up? Yeah, it was a, the, the evening dish, he kind of, even though he might be hungry, he likes to let it sit out a little bit so it gets a little more room temperature. I went through a period where I was slightly heating it up in the microwave. I don't know. But he would like, mm, snub his nose at it. How was your kitty cat day? Anyway, back to this, the story. Before I met Jesus, I was dating a gentleman who was Jewish. And after, you know, being around certain things, I learned, I'm a quick memorizer, and I learned some of the prayers. And I remember having this dilemma, it's like, I know the prayer, should I say it? And then screw the light bulb, I usually would be the only one in the lobby. Or because I'm not Jewish, should I not? And I consulted a few people who are Jewish and pretty religious. And the common answer was, do whatever's in your heart. And I kind of felt, you know, it's just a blessed, you know, it's just a very lovely, you know, phrase. Anyway, I digress. So when I came in tonight, right ahead of me was... I think it was a nanny and a boy who was maybe seven, something around there, eight. I, I'm really bad about guessing kids' ages. The concierge was busy interacting with someone else. He was getting them a package. And the little boy, though, kept asking. He ran over to the menorah and he goes, the, li the, lights, the second light's not on. Why is it not on? Why is it not on? And then he turned to the concierge and he's like, you know why why isn't it on why is it on and the nanny or his you know the child care person wow thank you can you maybe move a little yeah <laughs> um kept saying you know for him to wait until the conversation was over and then he could ask his question A little more comfortable. So I went over to the little boy and I said, would you like to say the blessing and you can turn on the candle? And he kind of looked and I was like, you know, we'll say it together. So we, we said it together and, and then 
he got to screw, you know screw the light bulb till the light came on he was so excited so it was just really fun it was really cute but uh, yeah Baruch Atad and I oh sneezes behind me anyway so it was really cute today when I was getting ready to leave I realized I realized that normally I fill this with ornaments and I went looking for them and I can't find them. I have so much cat hair on my face now because I'm a little sweaty from being outside and then when he rubbed up against me. Oh. So I went downstairs, uh, there's a, I think one of two Kmarts in Manhattan downstairs and I got these and some hand lotion. You know, I'm really not the greatest when it comes to judging volume. Can you see those? So there's shiny, there's glitter, and there's matte. I'm partial to the matte, but I couldn't get a box with just matte. But I think, yeah, I may need another box. I'm gonna get more comfortable, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens with the bulbs. Wish me luck. Well, it wasn't enough. I think I'll need to buy one more. Now the big decision is, do I want to get, continue with the red? I kind of like that they're all one color. I need to mix them up a little more. The shiny ones are like, kind of ended up all clumped together in the matte ones too. So maybe I'll get another one at lunch tomorrow. Rather, and just make them all red rather than, at first I was like, maybe mix the colors. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, that's exciting. Andy, I am your father. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. We're both exhausted from all the ribbon chasing. I need to make some dinner. eye in the ribbon. I know you're thinking about, oh look at your face. Your face is so adorable. Oh. So it's getting, it's almost 8.15 and I need to make myself some dinner. Tomorrow Chewie's home. I'm so happy. Yay. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I haven't done grocery shopping. Maybe I can convince him to go to Rosa Mexicano. Mm. We like to eat there. He was the general manager there. He was the general manager there for about five years a while back. So it's a favorite. It's nice to go and see everybody. The servers are all so sweet and the food's excellent. All right, Andy. Say good night. Say good night, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Hanukkah to all those celebrating. <laughs>